Aiden Hazard edges closer to his Real Madrid move. Manchester City want Juventus' star fullback. England press the self-destruct button. The Women's World Cup kicks off and we've got a roundup of all the day's transfer rumours. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. So first off, and to one of the longest running transfer sagas that I really don't want to talk about for the rest of the transfer window. It's Aiden Hazard moving to Real Madrid and it's all but done. Yesterday it was confirmed that an £88 million fee had been agreed between the two clubs and all that was left to do was for Hazard to complete his medical and agree on terms. However, this morning there is some breaking news that Chelsea have taken their transfer ban and appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, meaning that they may actually be able to sign players if the transfer ban is delayed. If it isn't though, it means that they will be losing Aiden Hazard and won't be able to sign a replacement if you don't view Christian Pulisic as a replacement, which I actually kind of do. Despite this though, it may have a little effect on whether or not the transfer will go through. For Hazard, it will obviously bring an end to a massive saga and to be honest, for all the fans as well, they can just let him go and get on with it. Another deal that may not face so many issues is the transfer of Juventus fullback Jao Cancelo to Manchester City. Now for those of you who watched the England game last night, you'll know why they need a new fullback as Carl Walker was pretty shocking. Okay, it's just one game, but still, having backups to him would be a good deal, especially if they lose out on Danilo. It's said that the Brazilian will be leaving the club after not playing that much in the year since Guardiola signed him, so having Cancelo and Walker is some pretty good right-back options. Whether or not Juventus will let him leave is yet to be seen as they only signed him last summer, along with fellow Portuguese player Cristiano Ronaldo. They are apparently looking for around 45 million for the fullback. And on to that England game. What can I say? They literally pressed the self-destruct button. It was clear that they were tired, lethargic after a long season and just could not compete with the intense pressing of the Netherlands. Now, I actually thought that England did dominate the game, but massive mistakes from John Stones and Ross Barkley meant that the Netherlands could capitalise an extra time and went on to win 3-1. The worst bit about it is, is that England players can't rest just yet as they'll have to go through the third or fourth place playoff on Sunday before the final between Portugal and the Netherlands. The winner of that, I'm not too sure, but you guys let me know your prediction down below. But next up and to the Women's World Cup which starts today and over a million tickets have been sold for the competition which is bringing in some record breaking numbers. The game will kick off with the host France looking to emulate what the men's side did by bringing home the World Cup last summer as they take on South Korea. Elsewhere and rivalries will be renewed as England take on Scotland and the current reigning champions United States will be taking on Thailand next Tuesday. Now as to how the tournament will play out, well France the host and the United States as I just mentioned are the favourites but don't don't sleep on the likes of Japan who are runners up in the last tournament and Australia who currently have Sam Kerr who is the record goal scorer in women's professional football in America. Alongside this make sure you look out for the Brazilian team including Formiga who unbelievably is playing at her seventh World Cup at the age of 41. She's showing no signs of slowing down having recently signed a new two-year deal with PSG. And lastly but not least we come to a roundup of all the day's transfer rumours. First off and PSG have offered Julian Draxler to Tottenham should they they lose their attacking midfielder Christian Eriksen. Elsewhere, and Wolves are interested in signing Liverpool's Rafael Camacho and have bid around £10 million. Schalke are interested in Everton's John Joe Kenny, who isn't getting enough minutes under Marco Silva. And Valencia are willing to pay around £8 million for Manchester United's Matteo Dalian. So, would Jao Cancelo's move to Manchester City be a good one? And who are your favourites for the Women's World Cup, which is starting this evening? Let me know all of that and more in the comments section down below. Smash the like button whilst you're down there. You can also click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But from me today, that's all we've got time for. And I will see you guys later.